Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll understand about tasks and we'll also look at task logs and document logs. And finally, we'll also learn how to troubleshoot orphan task. So let me start showing you a few settings on QMC. So let me go to the status tab and click on tasks. If you have noticed here, there's a small filter icon here. These are pretty useful. So you can filter by category. What it means is you can pick up specific categories. So in my case, I'm interested only in QVD creation ones and click on OK. So you won't see anything else. Basically, rest all of them are filtered. They're all running in the background, but this is just applying a filter, right? So I can click on in here and then click on clear filter. So if you ever see that tasks are missing, you don't have to worry about it. More likely someone must have applied filter while you're away or probably you must have applied filter and forgotten about it. And then you can also search for tasks. So I can say test, right? And you can see the name here. It doesn't need to match completely. All I just said is test. Or you can, let me show you one more, let's say golf. And then I would say golf. And then it shows up the task information here. Or you can also use lowercase golf and then it picks it up. So it's not case sensitive search, it's case insensitive. Same way we have options for status. And then if I click in here, you can see the aborting task, fail task, running, waiting, and warnings. So in my case, I would probably just select waiting ones. And you can see all the waiting tasks currently, which are waiting to run. Or if I go back and then say running tasks, so it doesn't show anything because it's nothing is actively running at the moment. While this task is running, let me also show you execution. So you can say you can specify a period, pick and choose from and to dates, or you wanted to know, just get me all the tasks which are running only on Mondays or Tuesdays. So you can pick up all that information using the filter by last execution. So I'll click on clear and then also schedule type here and here. We can also pick up based on external dependency tasks or multiple dependency tasks as well. So this is pretty useful option to filter out a specific task. If you have hundreds and hundreds of them, this is a really useful option, right? So we'll see some information about the specific tasks. When we highlight on this particular list item, we see the information on the right hand side, right? So we will see the task details and we'll also see the average execution time and then task history and all of that stuff. I think the important thing is the last updated time, right? So if you see here, this time changes, this gets updated almost every five seconds. So it's 34, it should be 40, right? Six seconds. And then again in five, six seconds, it'll be updated again, which is what it means is, it's trying to ping and get the information related to all other services, right? So let's move on and let's look at the document log. ClickView application has logging for each QVW file. The many log files and one of them is your document logs, which is a very, very important log, not just for the developer, but also very useful for administrator to look at the document log when task fails. We can easily see that. So before I go ahead and show you that, let me switch users. So let's go ahead and let's look at the document log first. So let me go to the source QVW file. And as the word says document log, it's related to the QVW file. So let me go on and click on QV11 and then look on source documents and we are interested in this test one. So if you see that there is no log file, there is a log file for this application, but for rest of them, there is no log file. So let me open the test dot QVW and uh, it's a blank one. It's basically, it has some test script in there. So you need to make sure that you have to go ahead and click on generate logs. And I wouldn't suggest checking the timestamp in log file because it will retain all the logs. I personally prefer just using the generate log and I will check it as when it's needed. It's personal preference. If you have some kind of archiving system, then you're okay to have timestamp in log file. So I would leave that off and just leave the generate log file on and then click on OK. And let me go ahead and save this and reload this for a minute. 
right it did reload and let me close this save it and we can see the log file right now right so we can see that information so we can see how and what happened inside the script we can see complete information in here so this is all about the document log right so let me also show you the task log so if we go back to QMC and then if we go ahead and run this task so let's hit play and it should be fairly quick so it should be running yeah it's running now and it should finish in a few more seconds right so it's finished in nine seconds you can see that information in here and you can click on this button or you can click on this log file and you can stretch the screen so this particular log right now is your task log so please understand the difference task log is different from the document log document log is all about the script execution script which gets executed in the qbw file whereas the task log it's all about qds executing the task right so that's the fundamental difference one is about the script in qbw file and the other one is about the qds log which is a QDS task log to be more specific. So we can see all the information in here. So that's about the task log. So let's assume that we, for some reason, this log file has been deleted, or let's say, let's go ahead and delete this log file. But you need to still look at the document log. You, you wanted to access the document log. How would you do that? There is one more option, right? Let me show you that. So click on my computer, D drive in my case, and in your case, it might be different, and then go to logs, QDS logs, click on this one folder, and then click on log. You can see the information in here. We are looking at this folder, and then if you open this folder in here, we can see some ID numbers along with the task name. Let me open this, and we can see the task log, and we can also see the document log. So the task log is same thing what we see on QMC and the document log is available in here and I can go ahead and open and see the same information in here, right? So let's go ahead and reload the document again just to make sure. And very quickly reloaded it, save yes and close it. And we can see the document log has been generated. So now let's go ahead and run this task on QMC as well. So let me go back and then hit the play button again. Should not take more than 10 seconds. So let it finish. And I'll leave it to auto refresh. Okay, so the reload is completed and let's go back to the task log right now folder. So last time when we saw we had only two folders within this particular folder. So which means that there are only two set of task instances which got executed now if we go back and then we'll see the third one here if the, if you see they are like your incremental numbers right four one and then last execution was four zero so if i go ahead and open this now right now we see the latest log file in here right so if you ever lose your document logs or if you wanted to go back and look at historical document logs if you don't have them tied up with the qbw file on the private folder or under source documents, then you can always come into this path under QDS logs, folder number one logs, and then the date folder. You will see the document log if it's been enabled. So make sure that the document log is always, always enabled. Before you go on publishing any app on production server, you should definitely have a checklist. And one of the item is to ensure that the document logging is enabled, right? It's really important. It's important because it's the map to understand or debug any kind of problem. So let's go back and let's look at the final concept, so which is the orphan tasks. So let's go ahead onto source documents and then uh, let me click on this. And in our case, let's assume that uh, we've decided to remove the test.qbw file and we also want to delete the task. So I'll go ahead and delete this qbw file. So let's say that I've deleted this. So as we deleted the test.qbw file, let's go back to QMC and then let's look for the test tasks. So we see the task here, right? And then let's go ahead and try and look for that particular task in here. Uh, we won't see that in here because the qbw file is gone. 
So this has right now become an orphan task, right? We can't see the file in here. So the task is orphaned because it doesn't have the parent uh, qvw file, which is test.qvw file. So if I go ahead and click on play, right? And then let's just refresh this, right? And the task has failed, rightly, because there is no qvw file related to this particular task. Even if you want to delete the task, you can't do it really. And because if you go into the source documents, you won't even see that task. So what do we do in this kind of situations? So if you have the original QVW file backed up somewhere, try and copy that. So if, the, if you have the test file, then you can always copy it back in here. But in my case, assume that I don't even have the test.qvw file, then what am I going to do? You can actually create a QVW file with the same name. As long as the name is same, you will be able to delete the task. So let's go ahead and uh, let me click on new. And then all I will do is just save it and then call it test.qvw. Right, close this, close this. And we can see the test.qvw in here. And now let's go back and look at QMC. Right, so let's refresh it. It will take few few seconds. So let me go back and let me refresh this page. So if we, ref if we refresh that page a few times and then, or probably give a couple of minutes and then we can see the QVW file in here and we can see the task, right? So now we can go ahead and delete the task first. So I can say delete the task and we can actually delete the QVW file as well, but I'll do it from here. So I'll go there and then delete these two files in there and go back to QMC, refresh the page, and you should see it's all gone now. So there is no task right now uh, which is related to test.qvw. So this is the simplest way to troubleshoot orphan task. So I hope this made sense. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.